his opponents. First, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the apex predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Brian, I would expect nothing less than excellence from Randy Orton here tonight. So your typical Randy Orton performance is what you're saying. And I'd also like to add that this match will go a long way in determining the pecking order here in WWE. Yeah, and he's hoping his stock continues to rise. A loss here, though, would certainly crush those hopes. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. And remember, when he gets on a roll, he's nearly impossible to stop. You are absolutely right, Cole. So I would expect to see his opposition do everything possible to prevent momentum from swinging too much to his side. Looking at tonight's card, we really do have all hands on deck for this one. Fatal four-way action coming right up. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. Fatal four-way. We have some fatal four-way action coming up next.
making his way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 204 pounds, Tyson Kidd. Tyson Kidd making his way to the ring. There's no denying this is a big match for Kidd. Some are saying he's in the best shape of his career right now. Would you agree with that, Corey? It's hard not to agree with that statement, Cole. I mean, just look at him. I'll tell you, he's going to be tough to beat, that's for sure. for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Guys, I'd say these superstars look more than ready to get this match started. I'd agree with that, Cole, and it sounds like this arena is right there with them. They are absolutely electric right now. start the night off than with this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one heck of a match here tonight. safely say that Dolph Ziggler is one of the most talented competitors on the roster today. And when he's focused, there's almost no stopping him, Michael. And Byron, I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd, Michael, and justifiably so. This one's going to be simply amazing. Thank you. 
Randy Orton is the apex predator. Randy Orton is genetically superior. When he's in a fatal four-way match and put in a corner, he's going to become even more lethal. Orton's senses heighten, and he prepares to strike. The referee's gonna have his hands full in this one. Officiating a one-on-one -on -one match is hard enough. I don't know if they're over-caffeinated or what, but this Seattle crowd, they haven't sat down all night. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. I think we've got a moment here. And for Dolph Ziggler, what can you tell us? In a fatal four-way, there are lots of moving parts. What does he need to do to separate himself here? I just hope he knows what he's gotten himself. He goes to the quick pen attempt. And there's the kick out by Randy Orton. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Flattens him with a clothesline. Nice. He lands the dive with amazing grace. There's been a turbulent relationship between... Looking for the quick 10. He got body on body there, but that's about it. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Just brings him down with authority there. He misses there. You just can't miss by that much, Cole. Swing and a miss. That was strike one, two, and three. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Back in the ring now, and he really got some hang time with that one. He'd be smart to stay put there. The WWE Universe is quite the history with Chris Jericho, one thing is for sure. The WWE Universe may not always agree with Jericho's methods, but they respect him. I don't doubt that the WWE Universe considers Y2J an all-time great. I think that's exactly why they don't understand why he conducts himself the way he does. Jericho is so good, he doesn't have to take the low road. Abuses him with an elbow. Randy better not lose focus on what matters, and that's winning this match. That's as legit a takedown as you will ever see. His shoulders are down. Randy Orton kicks out quickly. That would have been a shocker. And here's Ziggler showing some serious attitude. right off the apron. Made him pay there. Here he goes. And on tail. He's in the driver's seat now. And he goes for the pin. Two, three. Randy Orton wins. 